Good evening, guys. Thank you for joining me. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. There was a very significant tiny earthquake. It would be considered a micro earthquake at 1229 p.m. Pacific Standard Time there in Oakland, California. Why was this small earthquake so significant? Because it was an oblique reverse thrust earthquake, just like the Loma Prieta 1989 mega earthquake that occurred along an undiscovered unknown reverse fault line yeah this one is the same thing over here on the right we have the hayward fault the hayward fault is a right lateral strike slip fault this area has not had a major earthquake a large earthquake in a very long time also today there was a magnitude 1.4. USGS does not have a focal mechanism ball for that earthquake. I talked about the Loma Prieta earthquake, how there was a foreshock a year before a magnitude 5 that occurred before the magnitude 6.9 Loma Prieta main shock event. For USGS to put a moment tensor ball, a focal mechanism ball for this very small microquake shows that they know it is significant. This area is capable of having a 6.5 to a 7.0 earthquake. If there is a large earthquake, there are several areas that are very dangerous. I drew them out in red. Here's one. We got several different freeways that ride up over each other. And because of the soil, it's basically a type of soil that's washed down from the hills over eons um, that could turn into quicksand, liquid faction. That's one area. And then the other one I got drawn out up over here. Actually, the whole East Bay, the whole East Bay side of the Bay Area is in a sense fill it's all soil that's washed down from the hills over the eons that would turn into liquefaction um, during a major earthquake here on google earth is the two earthquakes the most recent that i'm talking about this is a map of all the earthquakes 44 within the last month nothing over a magnitude 2.5 we got um, 9.7 kilometers in depth, 10.5 kilometers in depth, uh, 4.2 kilometers in depth. And I want to show you the dipping of this fault zone. Look at that. That steep dipping is what makes it a thrust reversed oblique earthquake. I imagine if and whenever they have a larger earthquake, within this area, maybe within the next two weeks. Um, they'll probably put another news article about the threat of the Hayward Fault in the news and on television, your cable networks. Um, this, like I said, is a very small earthquake. Any earthquake can be a foreshock, a 20% foreshock for something much larger. And just like the Loma Prieta earthquake, it could occur a year later. The Loma Prieta earthquake was about 31 years ago, and so a lot of people weren't even born then. And because of this younger generation being so much younger and never going through a disaster, they are not prepared for a disaster in any way. Only about 2% of the population actually has a bug out kit. According to geologists, the Hayward Fault has a higher probability of a large earthquake uh, greater than the San Andreas Fault. And this area is definitely overdue. The Hayward Fault has a large earthquake every 100 to 200 years. And the last time was 1868, which was 152 years ago. This has not been updated on Google. And that was on the southern end of the Hayward Fault, not the northern end. They believe that was uh, a magnitude 6.8. Here on Wikipedia, they said that it was between a magnitude 6.3 and a 6.7. And it was not a reversed oblique thrust earthquake. It was a regular strike slip earthquake. 
So using Google Earth, here's the location of that earthquake in 1868. And we'll come up to where today's earthquake was. Right up here. All the way up here on the northern portion of the Hayward Fault. But actually it was not part of the Hayward Fault. This is probably a new unknown reversed ob oblique reverse fault that they didn't even know existed. So I'll bring it out again. Here we got the Bay Area. This is the section I'm talking about that has not had a, an earthquake, anything major. And down here is that 1868 earthquake. This is considered the southern portion and up here is considered the northern portion of the Hayward Fault. I really wish and I really pray that you guys would be prepared for a major earthquake. You are overdue. So that's all I have to say. Can't say you weren't warned. If any thoughts or comments or questions, please put it down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe and I will talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.